All right, so here we are in part two of episode four of Hitman Absolution. So we've evaded the police, we've escaped the library scene that everyone saw in the demo. We are on our way, or we're in an abandoned building across the street. Well, it's not abandoned, obviously. It's a grow house across the street that's been raided by the police. So we need to evade the police. By escaping through here in the plants. This guy back here is the trouble guy. So as quickly as you can, you need to get into this corner by the giant peace sign and wait for him to turn his back. Some of this was in the demo as well. I remember that. They took a shortcut, though. They uh, smashed the cops. In the other room in the you face of the bomb. I got a call to this floor a couple weeks back for the for domestic disturbance, right? And the landlord was complaining that the building. We're not going to do that today. <laughs> I guess we're going to sneak no behind these guys. And if you haven't done it already, this next part will award you a challenge. Now that they're gone, we're going to sneak through this vent into the next room. In this room. There's a safe, and it's got explosives in it that we're going to use to lure the cops away from the elevator. Grab the notebook for the combination. Hey, seen a combination Wait for this guy to leave. We do our thing. You know, there's the explosives. We're going to go back here and turn on the radio. So 47's been evading the agency and the police to keep Victoria hidden. Per Diana's request, Victoria is a special girl. She's been genetically engineered. Uh, we won't get too into that for now. But, uh, yeah. So 47's got a protector. I think it's kind of interesting because uh, the only other human cloning, or the only evidence remaining of the only other human cloning project ever mentioned in these games is 47 himself. You know, if you've never played the games, the previous games, um, he was genetically engineered to be the perfect killer and... Uh, that doc or by a doctor named Dr. Ortmeier and his team of scientists. Ortmeier and his team of scientists, along with all the other clones that were produced from that experiment, were killed. And the files were destroyed. By 47. So, a whole new human cloning project's been put together. And, uh, that is where Victoria comes into play. They had to have put a lot of time and effort into that because, like I said, all evidence of the previous experiment were destroyed, save for Mr. 47 himself. Alright, so this is the only part of the mission where I cannot do suit only. And I do not understand. Well, I mean, I do understand, but, um, yeah, so... We're gonna just get a disguise from this guy here real quick. This part wouldn't be hard to do suit only. It's once we get into the train station outside that it becomes impossible because of the guard placement of purest difficulty. Uh, there's a guard standing in a position and does not move and it is impossible to evade him without a disguise. So. Here, wait for these guys to leave. Swap out this knife for this pipe because I don't know. Don't like having to not stab people in the head when they try to throw an object. So we're gonna move our way into the crowd here. Disguise or no disguise, 
you can stay hidden in the crowd as long as you're not facing any police that are scanning nearby you. Um, it is much easier, obviously, in the disguise to do it. This part, it's, we're going to need to wait a little bit for because we got two guys here and two guys to the right that can spot us. So, got to do a little bit of waiting here. Try not to burn. Instinct, I don't have to. Because you don't, you only get instinct in Paris mode when you complete an objective or you find evidence or when you subdue enemies. And, uh, we don't want to burn it because it doesn't regenerate. So, looks like we're good here. I'm going to have to burn a little bit of instinct, but uh, as soon as this guy turns his back, I'm going to go. Alright, I'm gonna do it. And we'll use the instinct. Sneak past that cop. These are cool because then you can use them to hide in plain sight. It doesn't cost instinct. Just looking to see if the uh, where the cop over there is. Hello? Hey. Yeah, I'm sorry. No. Sit here and two trains have come by. It's just All right, I'm gonna make my way up to the next area. So we just stay to the outside and try to stick close to other people in the crowd. It should be fine. If you feel uncomfortable, go ahead and use a level instinct. Sneak our way through here. Now, all the way up to this point. I could do soon. But the next area after this is where suit only becomes absolutely impossible. They did force you to take disguises more in this game, I've noticed. In the previous games, uh, it was never impossible to advance into any part of the, of the game without a suit. You just had to be very clever about it. But this literally is impossible. Because right behind that post to my right. Yep, did you see him? I turned away pretty quick. There's a cop sitting there that never moves. So, getting through this part without a disguise is quite literally hey, Brenda. impossible. Yeah. Yeah, I know they're in the office. I know. Hey, Stop yeah, with these no, trains. Yeah. As soon as this cop turns, we'll bump a little instinct, get around that corner. As Buddy was coming back from behind me, I didn't even think to look. That's okay, right? Around the corner, we're fine. Just have to uh, be wary when playing in purest mode because you don't get any instinct hints, those little questionnaire things that you can read if you do them an instinct that say like, oh, this chandelier will fall, or whatever, or, you know, your train will arrive in 60 seconds, you don't get any of that. So, this could be longer because I'm on previous difficulty, or it could just be the longest 60 seconds of my life, but, uh, I gotta hang out here and wait for a train and evade the dozen some odd police officers that are scanning the crowd looking for me.